Now that's a t-shirt. Let's go Blue Jays! Welcome back to Debris Day. Guys, this is the third in the series for the MAME and Hyperspin setup for the Man Cave, so setting up an arcade machine. Today on Debris Day, we're going to go through setting up the Xbox 360 controllers, and this will be the final one in this series. Thanks ever so much for watching. So the first thing I want to talk about with Xbox 360 controllers is about the dongles that you need to plug into your PC. Now I made the silly mistake of purchasing a cheap version of the uh, the dongle which allows you to have uh, wireless connectivity to your Xbox 360 controller off of eBay. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. I thought it would work, I plugged it in and I couldn't get it working whatsoever. So. Uh, lesson learnt, don't buy anything that's cheap and cheerful off of eBay. Go to the Microsoft site, go to the Microsoft store and buy yourself a genuine, legitimate Microsoft uh, wireless dongle for your PC. Let's show you what they look like. So the, this one here is the cheap and cheerful one I got off of uh, eBay. Um, it looks almost identical. Um, it's got uh, Proxima Direct on the back to show you that. Um, it doesn't work guys, I had nothing but problems with this. So what I did, as I mentioned, I went to the Microsoft store and picked myself up a, a genuine Microsoft one. Um, I think it says on the back that it's a genuine Microsoft, let's have a quick look. Uh, it says Microsoft Wireless 360 uh, receiver for Windows. Um, get one of those, it works straight away, then you won't have any problems. Obviously you need uh, a pair of Xbox 360 controllers. Um, these are my ones from my old uh, Xbox 360. Um, really simple, what you do uh, is that you plug in your controller into your, sorry, your wireless controller into your USB port. So I just pop it into there. And what you'll find is that we get lovely green light. Okay guys, let's uh, show you how to set up the Xbox 360 controllers for MAME and Hyperspin. It's actually relatively quite straightforward. Um, we need to go into the Hyperspin directory here, and we need to go into uh, HyperHQ. Now what we're going to do is set the Xbox 360 controllers to work with Hyperspin, and then that will follow through into the various emulators that we're going to use. So you come into HyperQ, um, as you can see here, you've got an option for controls, um, and this is for MAME. So click on controls, um, really, really straightforward. Um, you can click on joystick, uh, you set joystick ID 0 or 1, so we're going to do the first one here. And it'll say press OK, then press any key uh, on the Xbox 360 controller, so I'm going to do that. And player 26 ID 1, I'm just going to redo that. Press the button. As soon as you press the button, you get player one joystick set to ID zero. Um, uh, if I did the same on the second controller, uh, I would set ID to number two and then press the button on the Xbox controller. The key thing you need to do though is tick these boxes to say joystick is enabled. Now, if you want to change the configuration of your uh, Xbox 360 controllers, you come in here. So you got up, down. Uh, so if you want to go up, you click press set and you press the uh, upward analog, down, press downward analog, analog, left and right, so on and so forth. This is really good because these then follow through all the way into, uh, into main. That's all you have to do from a hyperspin perspective. So we'll close it off, uh, we'll start up hyperspin, and what you'll see, um, it'll start up in just a second. Um, I can now press a, one of my buttons, um, and I can uh, move up or down on the controller, uh, press the A button here, that takes me into MAME, there's our, our wonderful gauntlet, click on the button, and I'll do some video of this as well so you can see it, you can see it working, um, as in um, uh, video footage so you can see the controller with, with the game. Um, F5 a couple of times, up, down, left, right to pick your character, press um, start which is I believe number one, and then there we go. So I'm pressing the green button and it's firing away. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just repeat this process slightly, just so you can see it from a, a video camera perspective, so you can see it working. I'm moving the controller and it's moving around. Um, that is how to configure your Xbox 360 controllers with Hyperspin. Thanks guys. Um, I've already done the video recording from the screen side of things, so I just want to show you uh, recording from, uh, from the actual laptop, so let me do that now. So here's my uh, 360 controller. Um, as you saw on the, the screen capture, I'll just start up uh, Hyperspin. We'll make sure the controller's on, of course. 
and you'll see it comes up with a ring like that. Press the button and you can see you can move up and down in MAME. We're going to go straight into MAME. I'm pressing the button here so you can see. There's our classic corner which we, uh, we've been using for our test. Hit the button on there and it starts up. The screen will load with gauntlet. There it goes. F5 for some credits. Uh, up, down, left, or right to pick your character. And then we'll get started. Welcome. Here we go. And as you can see, I'm firing away with the fire button. I can wander around the screen using the controller. And it's working. So there we go. That shows you it working. <laughs> So guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I uh, hope that's been useful to you. Uh, as I mentioned, it's the third and final video in this series. If you do want to see any more of these type of videos, so with educational or how-to videos, please give me, uh, give me some comments below. I really would appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up, because that really helps my ratings on my channel. Also, if you can subscribe up here and watch one of our other videos up here, you might find it useful. We do record a video every single week, at least once a week, sometimes more, and I'd love to see you back on our channel. Thanks ever so much, guys. Bye for now.